Assalamualaikum and hello everyone. I am Dr. Wan Usmiza from Faculty of Science, University of Technology Malaysia will give you a short lecture on the microbiochroscinity of batch culture. The learning outcome from this topic is you are able to evaluate the batch fermentation kinetic parameters such as the specific growth rate, the maximum specific growth rate, the yield coefficient, doubling time and also the saturation constant. So I will cover a few topics here which are the batch growth culture, the growth phase, the kinetic in batch culture, mass doubling time, monoc model, yield coefficient, and I also will give you some examples at the end of this lecture. Batch growth are refers to culturing cells in a vessel where all the substrate and nutrients are added at zero time or soon after inoculation takes place. The vessel is operated under a controlled environment to proceed until maximum end product concentration is achieved. Microbiochroscinity is quantified by increase in the macromolecular and chemical constituents of the cell and growth pattern of each microbe. Cell concentration in a culture medium is very important to quantify for the kinetic parameters determination. So there are two methods which can be used to measure the cell concentration which are direct and indirect methods. The growth phase are divided into several phases which are the lag phase, exponential phase, stationary phase and depth phase. So during the lag phase, the cell concentration are constant. In this phase, the cells are tried to adapt to the new environment. Following the lag phase is exponential phase. So the cells are tried to adjust to the new environment and in this phase, cells are multiplied rapidly and the cell matter and cell number density also increase exponentially this time. Then it, the cell will enter the stationary phase where all the nutrients are depleted. The cell concentration are keep constant in this phase. Following the stationary phase is that phase. So during the that phase, the number of dying cells are continues to rise. In the death phase, the number of living cells decrease exponentially and population growth experience a sharp decline. So, in the kinetic in batch culture here, mentioned by the Malthus law, the growth rate of the cell at any time in the cell in the growth phase is proportional to the number of cells present at that time. So it represents by this equation where ds, dx over dt equal to mu net t, mu net x, where x is at initial biomass at t equal to zero. So mu net here is referred to net specific cross rate where mu net equal to mu g minus kd. Right? So mu g is a cross specific cross rate. And KD is rate of cell mass lost due to cell death. So if we ignore the KD, then mu net is only equal to the cross specific growth rate, which is mu G. Then by the integration of this equation from the initial biomass to the biomass at time t, so we will get ln x over x naught equal to mu net G. Then Rearrange the equation, then we get the ln x equal to ln x naught plus mu net t, which is equivalent to y equal to mx plus c. So ln x here is referred to y axis, and x axis is a time. So by plot the, this linear curve, we will get a slope, which is mu. So mu is the specific growth rate. Next is mass doubling time. So mass doubling time is a time required to double the microbiomass. So where the biomass is equal to two initial biomass. Then by substitute x equal to two 
x not here here then we will get ln 2 by cancel out x not and x not here it which is equal to mu td so td will be equal to ln 2 divided by mu which is equal 0 0.693 over mu and next is a model model the monad model is represented by this equation. So linearize the monad model become as 1 over mu equal to ks over mu m times 1 over s plus 1 over mu m. So we use the monad model to find mu m and also the ks. So mu m is a maximum specific growth rate and ks is saturation constant. And S here is substrate concentration. Then we plot a graph of 1 over mu versus 1 over S. Then we get the Y intercept of 1 over mu M. Then we can get the mu M here and also the KS here. So yield coefficient, which are generally defined based on the amount of consumption of another material. So I give you three yield coefficients here, which are cell yield coefficient, products yield coefficient, and also the products over the biomass yield coefficient. So the equation is given here, which are a difference in between the biomass and also a difference in substrate concentration. And delta P is a difference in product concentrations. So all the units for yield coefficient are given in gram per gram. Next is production of gross slim product. So, primary metabolite which is gross associated product are produced simultaneously with microbial growth. The specific rate of product formation is proportional to the specific, growth, specific rate of growth. So product formation equation given here which is QP equal to 1 over X, TP over DT. So we need to find the YPX and mu G can get it from the mouth to slope. Then we can get the QP, the product formation. So here is some example that I will give you which is linked directly to YouTube. So here you can see it at YouTube for the example 1, 2 and 3 which is I recorded using the Excel to solve for the kinetic parameters. So you can scan the QR code here for each example. you can take a look by click by scan this QR code and after that after you look all the examples there and try it by using your own Excel then you can have a try uh, one question I give you here which is I give you in Google form that you have to scan QR code here again and give your answer in that Google form and I will take a look and give some comments uh, for your answer and that's all thank you for watching please don't forget to subscribe my channel okay see you again in the next lecture bye